Okay, with that date in mind, September 27th, 2020, I've got to ask you, now what's going to happen to Marlin Firearms? And if you'll stick around just a few minutes, we're going to talk about that. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll spend some time at the range, and every now and then we'll reconvene out in my shop back in Houston, oh yes, or here at the farm in Louisiana where I'll build some fun projects, and we'll share an adventure or two that will make even a grown man smile. But if on that day, September 27th, you were celebrating Triple H's birthday, uh, you may have missed the fact that there was a non-WWE related seismic event that happened, and that was the filing of bankruptcy of the Remington Outdoor Group. And if you've been around firearms very long, especially Marlin Firearms, you'll know when I say that used to be called the Freedom Group, you'll know exactly what that meant for Marlin. And I'm not going to go into a lot of history about all that because it's well documented. Um, but let me just say that Remington Outdoor, Outdoor Group has filed for bankruptcy and all of its assets have been sold. And uh, that gets us to the why, what happened to Remington? And, uh, and I'm gonna just read a little, very short uh, clip that I pulled off the web from a group called, what is it called? It's called um, Seeking Alpha, and it's uh, supposedly one of the world's largest investment communities, but it's very short. It says, speaking of Remington Outdoor, Outdoor Group, the company did not help themselves by hiring financial managers rather than gun people to run the company. Immediately following their acquisitions, gun owners quickly noticed the significant drop in quality in firearms, especially with well-known brands like Bushmaster and Marlin. And then they went on to say, you have to respect companies like, such as Ruger for running a clean balance sheet. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of the other, the distribution of all of the other Remington assets, but I am gonna put information in the uh, description, the uh, video description, where you can go just check it out. It's pretty interesting who got what and, um, and what that means. And you know what, before I say any more, we're gonna see if this, um, how old is this? 37, 40, 57 year old, is that right? This 57 year old Marlin Model 39A, we're gonna see if it can still shoot. Better yet, we're going to see if this 70-year-old guy can shoot the 57-year-old Marlin. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Golf ball. Two golf balls. Three golf balls. Wow. So, uh, of course, it took me a couple of missed shots to get them all down, but uh, I love this. is my favorite of all time firearms, and from my from my very biased perspective, it is the nicest firearm that was ever made. The nicest 22 rifle, I should say. But anyway, so uh, Ruger, in case you haven't figured out by now, Ruger did buy Marlin Firearms, almost all of the assets. I don't know what that means. But here's the uh, statement from Ruger, and, uh, and there's a little bit tidbit here at the end that's really interesting. And it says, Sturm Ruger and Company Inc. announced today that it's offered to purchase substantial, this is dated September 30th, by the way, um, to purchase substantially all of the Marlin Firearms assets was accepted by Remington Outdoor Company, Inc. and approved by the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Northern District of Alabama. The company will pay the $30 million purchase price from cash on hand, and this gets back to uh, what, what uh, that investment group said about the balance sheet of Ruger. They had cash on hand to be able to do something like this instead of going into incredible debt, which was the legacy of the Remington Outdoor Group. Um, 
the brand aligns perfectly with ours and the Marlin product portfolio will help us widen our already diverse product offerings. And if you know anything about the Marlin Firearms Company and the Ruger Firearms Company, there's a very dis big distinctive. And that is the, uh, the, that Ruger does not currently make any lever guns, lever guns, lever guns, you figure it out. Um, now they did the Model 96, which was introduced in 1996, and it was offered in 17 uh, HMR, it was offered in 22 long rifle, 22 Magnum, and also the 9644, which was a really cool lever gun, um, 44 Magnum. I'd like to have one of those for this channel, by the way. But, um, but that was only in production from 1995 to 2000, I think 95 to 2007. And so Ruger does not, does not make lever guns. But guess what? We know about Marlin, they're all about lever guns. And so uh, that is gonna be a great addition to the Ruger lineup. And I can't wait for one to see what Ruger does with the Marlin brand. And by the way, all of that manufacturing is gonna be brought under the umbrella of Ruger in-house with their quality control, their, um, their world-renowned injection molding capability, metal injection molding capabilities. And, um, and so I can't wait to see what, and quality control on top of that, so I can't wait to see what Ruger does um, with, the Marlin, with the Marlin lever guns. So what I want you guys to do, and I'm gonna, and speaking of links in the description, uh, or, or information in the description, I'm gonna put a link in there to, um, to tell the CEO, and it's something that's on the Ruger website. It's kind of hard to find, but I found it, and I've already sent them one message, but you can actually message directly to the CEO of Ruger, Sturm Ruger and Company, Inc. And uh, tell them what you would like to see happen to Marlin Firearms. For me, I'd like to see the Marlin Model 39A um, get out of the custom shop and back into regular production. And I'd like to see overall quality be addressed. So those are some things that I thought about. And, um, and I let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to uh, send a message to tell the CEO. And uh, because this is really an exciting news for, for, um, for Marlin aficionados. Uh, you know, we've complained so much about, played so much about the quality of Marlin. Um, even the pre-Rimlin days Marlins that I've had my hands on, except for this guy, and the one that I'm fixing to show you, uh, except for those two rifles, I've had problems with every Marlin that I've had but the end result is that now Marlin is in the hands of a gun manufacturer, someone who knows manufacturing, who understands quality, and knows how to bring a, a good product at a reasonable price. And so we're gonna shoot this guy again, but first thing I wanna do, before I do that, I wanna show you a, um, I wanna show you another rifle that I got my hands on just the other day, and I think you're gonna find it interesting. Uh, Okay, looks like a Marlin Model 336. It is. This one, particular one, is made in 19... 1968. That's the year I graduated from high school. And this one is in 35 Remington. And so we've been talking about doing a video on the 35 Remington Marlin Model 336 for a long time. And I want to say thanks to my friend Rusty. You've heard me, me, me mention Rusty before on the channel. And uh, Rusty is a fairly close neighbor to mine in Houston. And so we've had uh, kind of developed friendship and, and he's got quite a collection of guns. And this is one that he has loaned me to make some content with. In fact, in fact, Rusty is gonna hunt with his Ruger Blackhawk 44 Magnum pistol this year, just so I can have his beloved Marlin Model 336 in, 30, in 35 Remington. And so uh, you can look forward to that in the next few weeks. But what a great example of, of production from Marlin Firearms back when they knew how to make, back when they knew how to make firearms and their fit and finish is incredible.
and the functionality is exactly what you would expect exactly what you would expect from a classic Marlin firearm. This one is really, really smooth, works great, and can't wait to get it on camera for you. And by the way, that's also a classic scope. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but that is a classic Weaver 2x7 scope on a classic lever gun. Can't get any better than that. So there you have the rundown. Uh, Marlin, our beloved Marlin Firearms Company, is now owned by somebody we hope is going to take care of it and um, and start to squeeze out the really great potential in Mar in the great in the Marlin Firearms designs. And so I can't wait to see what happens. I want to be first in line to get one of the new Marlins after they work the bugs out and uh, just see what that's all about. So uh, just want to say thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you like the video, the YouTube uh, analytics thinks that means something, and so I appreciate it. All you have to do is click on that thumbs up, and if you click on that little bell, YouTube says you'll get notified every time I upload a new video, and so you don't have to wonder when that's going to happen, even though it's usually on Tuesday. And so uh, let me do a little bit more shooting, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you then.